This is Rob Rackett, and I'm doing here another live tonight. We're going to be talking about weather balloons, no, UFOs, weather balloons, China, and Russia. That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. And we've got a big, um, I, I want to know uh, many things over here. Uh, I've been questioning for the past couple of weeks, and as you can tell with my little uh, buddy over here, the little UFO, alien, green alien here, I have no name for him. Maybe I'll call him Greeny. Anyhow, um, what's been going on? You know, I mean, we've been hearing about weather balloons. We've been hearing about UFOs. Now the Ohio uh, Chernobyl type thing that happened. Uh, there's so much information uh, going on that uh, all I could say is that there's too much information. And let me start by saying what I think UFOs are. I think UFOs are demonic spirits, fallen angels, uh, that's what uh, I think that they are, and uh, yeah, so well, let me get into it a bit more, uh, what are you, what are fallen angels, they're the ones that, uh, angels that fell from earth, uh, when God banished them down to the earth after they uh, rebelled against him, I think one third of the angels rebelled against him, and it does say in the Bible, at the end times, there will be uh, wonders and signs of wonders and lies that lies in the sky. I don't know the exact uh, Bible verse, but it does say that. And that's what I think is happening now. Now, what are these things? Now, uh, information says that these weather balloons, what they are, it's from China. One of them, it's a, it's a, a Chinese balloon. And now they're also saying that uh, there's an Alaska UFO report that it belongs to an Illinois amateur balloonist report, which I think um, is totally bogus in 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 my in my view because the Americans have satellites high up there, like what 20, 30, I don't know, forty thousand feet above the Earth. They could beam down on anybody, and they can't tell what it is. Okay, fine, maybe something they can get out of there. But why would it be, why would it be nothing like a balloon? And it takes like what, like it's been what, since February 2nd, I believe, or what, the 16th today, whatever we are, so many days, and what, nothing, nothing. They didn't know, now they're saying, it's a, one of them is a Chinese balloon, a, 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 a spy balloon. The other thing is, now they're saying it's a balloonist from Africa, amateur. Couldn't, I think they would know by that. I think what they're doing is that they are purposely distracting us from what happened in Ohio. Uh, I'm sure you all heard about uh, the massacre that happened there, the massive uh, chemical derailment of the train that happened there. And I'm sorry to say, but that's what probably is a distraction from it all, because Mainstream news doesn't talk much about Ohio. Just look up Ohio. It's horrible. Anyhow, getting back to this UFO thing, I, uh, I've i been studying this. I studied this back in the 2015s, 2015. And I know that they say it could be Project Bluebeam that's doing this, which is a program, uh, I think, developed by DARPA. And it projects all kinds of stuff. They want to do the second coming. They want to do also um, project all kinds of stuff happening, weird stuff, and maybe even aliens coming down, and stuff like that. So that, that's what I'm thinking. I'm not saying there's no aliens. I think there's something out there. But they say one day there's going to be disclosure. Now, if you look into the theory of aliens actually controlling the Earth because they're reptilians to the royal family, to Bill Gates, to all of that, well, that's one way of looking at it, why they're hidden. They're hidden in plain sight. And if they want to be known... They would be known, but they're not known uh, because simply because they don't want to be exposed, at least not yet. So I've heard many, many years ago in my Illuminati cards that there would one day be the, the, alien, the fake alien invasion that would happen. Now, I'm quite sure that this will happen. Maybe now they're starting to do it, the fake alien invasion. However, uh, Based on everything, I think this is just a trial run. This is just a little thing. I don't think you're going to be seen in a week from now. Aliens are coming. No. They've been doing this for years, years through mass media, UFO movies, E.T., Alien, Predator, all this, this stuff. And I'm thinking 
that this will be part of the global agenda. This works hand in hand with the World Economic Forum to, to bring in a one world government, um, a system of total dystopian utopia that you will not be able to get out of an electronic gridlock, digital ID, you'll be like this. But I think this is just part of it. They're distracting us right now. And one day they're probably gonna do something like an alien invasion, we're gonna fake it when it's time. Because I heard about this about two years ago, they were supposed to do this in October 2020. They were supposed to uh, bring on the alien invasion. If you look it up, you could Google it or whatever search engine you use, I use DuckDuckGo, and you could see that they were planning this a while ago, and now this is the start of it with these balloons, come on. Uh, I was gonna say it's the Chinese, then they're gonna say it's the Russians, then they said it was a Russian, Russian planes on the airspace. They're just testing out all kinds of stuff to see what the public's gonna eat up, what they're gonna get paranoid of, what they're gonna get worried about. And I can tell you one thing, folks, it's just too bad that people could fall for it. As far as I know, no one, no one's worrying about it. No one is like, most people are laughing and they should bring on the aliens and all that stuff. And I'm quite sure that because of that, uh, they will do it. They're just testing it now. This is just a test run for later on, Project Bluebeam, whatever they use. Heck, maybe the aliens will come down one day. But I do, I did hear that one day the government's going to have disclosure. I mean, I remember uh, President Trump, uh, President Trump, uh, yeah, former president, wanted to reveal it to um, uh, what Anthony Podesta and Hillary Clinton wanted to reveal the alien agenda. Now, do I believe aliens exist? Yes, there's campaign, this whole massive universe, infinite, infinite, that doesn't end. There's no end to it. Trillions and trillions and trillions of light years away. And here on Earth, well, let's say my microphone is, that's all. There's nothing else in the world. Plus, from what I've heard, there's like what, there's the earth and nothing else. No, there's the, the, there's planets, there's other life forms, plus there's I think eight, nine, maybe 11 dimensions that we can get into, plus God, plus the demons. You know, so it's it's impossible that we're just like the focus of it all. There's got to, there's, there's, there's other stuff too, but I don't want to get too much into it because that's going to probably say, okay, we're talking about weather balloons. Yeah, the weather balloons is a distraction from the war for what China wants to do. China wants to wants a social economic breakdown of everywhere the states everywhere they want to collapse so that they could bring in a social credit system which is something else totally into it so they're doing all, all these distractions for something even more nefarious this is just for them folks it's just a game but i can tell you one thing i've been studying these things for many years and if there wasn't, if there actually was an alien uh, threat, you can bet you will be on all the news. All the news, that's all we'll be talking about. Like, if you remember when they talk about the pandemic, that's all you heard. Non stop, non stop COVID, non stop, non stop, non stop. This will be the same thing, and people will be frightened. Now, they may stop, they may play that card yet, but they're just tweeting it. They're just tweeting it. Uh, they can't really do it yet they have to see the public testing different ways but weather balloons uh containers in the sky uh, uh planes uh, god knows what else they're just testing it but one thing for sure is folks do not be fooled by them this is just part of their agenda and my take on it is one day there will be something i don't know when but this is just part of their their script and folks I could not be more happy than if there was actually some kind of invasion if they're benevolent obviously but they're not so we do not want this to be true to the extent that like there's actually aliens that are coming down to conquer the earth now this is just a bit too much now but all I want to say folks is that keep an open mind and remember that the way the way the world is going Sometimes, maybe sometimes we'd be better off if we were lifted off this planet to somewhere else. I'm just going to leave you with that. I just thought I'd do a quick video on the weather balloons and UFOs. And if, by the way, before I let you go, if you want to find out about aliens, 
research the Dulce base, D-U-L-C-E base. That's uh, well, uh, that's one part of the alien base on the Earth that you can't get into if you're into that sort of stuff. The Dulce base, just the, the go it or whatever you use, and that's it. So anyhow, I just want to tell you that. Be well, folks. God bless you all, and thank you for watching the video. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you.